In this video, we're going to have a look at the soon-to-be-disappearing visualizations pane in Power BI. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So here we have Power BI, and we have the three standard panes, filters, visualizations, and data, which used to be called the fields pane. In an upcoming preview feature, the visualizations pane is going to disappear. So let's just have a look and see what the visualizations pane actually does. First of all, we can add data to your visual. So we can build a visual to begin with. So if I click outside on an empty piece of canvas, I can add a new visual, say a table visualization. I can then add fields to populate this visual. So let's add, for instance, the date created into the column section and the size. You can also add drill throughs to another page in this report. In addition to building visualizations, you can also format your visuals. This uses the new format pane that was introduced in February 2022. In addition, you can add further analyses to your visual. So if I click on this line visualization, you can see all sorts of additional analytics from trend lines, constant lines, and min and max lines. If I go into File, Options and Settings, Options, you'll see in the Preview Feature section, On Object Interaction. So if I check that and click OK, you can see that this requires a restart. So if I click OK, save this, close Power BI and open it up again, then I will open up the existing file that I've just saved. So I'll go to File and My File. However, notice that we no longer have the visualization pane. It has now disappeared. If I want to insert a new visualization, I can do so from the Home tab. Either click on New Visual, or I can select a visual from this drop down list. I can also do this from the Insert menu as well. Both of these also allow me to go to App Source and add some custom visualizations. So if the visualization pane has gone, how can I add new fields? Well, I can click on a field and then click this add data and build your visual. So let's say I wanted to remove quarter, month and day. I can do that by clicking on these X's. Suppose I wanted to change this from a table to a matrix. Well, I can change the visual type right at the top. I can also get the computer to suggest a type. So it's suggesting a line chart, for instance. So I'm going to turn this back into a matrix. Now, if all of the add visuals is now in this build a visual section, where is the formatting? Well, the format pane is now its very own pane. If I go into view, I can show the format pane and here it is. Now I can also collapse it into an icon on the right hand side so I can gain access to the data and the format panes very swiftly. Now, another way of formatting is to click on a visualization. Notice that we've got this black outline with circles and then double click. So this now changes this into the formatting phase. So I can right and click on something, say for instance, an axis and go to format axis values. Then the format pane would appear. So if I close it and do that again, it will appear and it will go to that particular section. So if I right and click on the Y axis, you can see we're now editing the Y axis section, but I can also scroll up and down. So it's just showing me one particular section. It's not saying this is the only section that I can use. Additionally, I can double click on items. So if I double click on this year element, then I can change it. So year brackets, date created, close bracket. So I can do this without having to go to the format pane at all. And this is why there is such a difference between these two different modes. When we've got this black surround, I can use the visualization as I have before. So I can right and click and go to copy, copy visualization. I can also use the new format. And again, this takes me into the format view. If I were to right and click, then I get different options. Also notice that there is no separate analytics pane. If I go down the format pane, you'll see 
in this line chart, I've got all of my analytics here. For example, a trend line. Now, not all of the analytics have been brought in. Microsoft is working to add this. In addition, I can also click on the plus icon to add or remove visual elements, just like I can with Microsoft Office. And indeed, all of these changes are here to bring more familiarity and consistency with Microsoft Office. So if I click on this paintbrush with a plus, I can add additional elements such as a zoom slider, markers and data labels. And you can also click more options to get again to the format pane. Now, a question could be, would I use this feature right now? And the answer at the time of recording is no. Not all of the things that I could do in the old version are here in the new version. For example, I can't add a min or max line like I could in the old version. So for right now, I wouldn't use it. However, it is good to get yourself familiar with the functionality because at the moment, this is in preview. But later on, Microsoft will probably be rolling it out to all users. And so if you've got a bit of experience with it now, that will help when they roll it out. But for now, I would leave this unchecked. Thank you very much for joining me. In the next video, we're going to have a look at free data analyst IT certifications that you should consider, including one for Power BI. To watch it, please click on it on the end screen that's coming up. I hope you've liked this video. If you did, then why not click like? Why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and keep learning.